entertainment schmig. Of course, the big news is Lindenwood University announced its lineup for the J. Scheidegger Center for the Arts and opening up. I've already uh, requested tickets. Oh, it's going to be great, 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 great. Tony Bennett. Yeah. September 19th. Uh, the Doobie Brothers, Natalie Cole, Frank Sinatra Jr., Sinbad, and Michael Bolton. There you have it. No, that's not really the big news, though, but I was excited to see Tony Bennett come into the loo. Um, the View. Rosie Perez was not on The View yesterday. She announced that she's leaving next month. Her last episode will be August 6th. But yesterday on the panel, they talked about Bill Cosby, and, you know, Raven Simone has joined as a regular so you would think they would all step aside and let her talk. No, instead they it cut her off right before she got to say anything <laughs> close to being interesting <laughs> on the subject of Bill Cosby and all the testimony that was released by the cut judge. Her off. Everybody's just talking over one another. What? No, <laughs> the everybody's talking. Yeah, but they no, were all talking over each other. I can't even know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah wanted to talk about this subject because this was the man I wouldn't be sitting here if it weren't for him this is the man who gave me my first job and I said I didn't want to say anything until there was evidence and then they're all like but there is evidence <laughs> and she was like yes but now there is and then they all talked over her and she just Faded sat away. back but then Whoopi Goldberg weighed in on the topic of quaaludes and said like oh it was the 80s trying like making excuses for the whole thing Here's what she had to say about Cosby. You know, I think it's, again, we'll see what happens. You know, as more information comes out, people can make judgments. I'm not, I don't like snap judgments because I've had snap judgments made on me. So I'm very, very careful. And, I, you know, because this is my opinion. And in America, still, I know it's a shock, but you actually were innocent until proven guilty. Until proven guilty. He has not been proven. Uh, I don't know. Well, he hasn't been proven. I mean, you know, I. He what, admitted. Well, when I, you settle a case out of court. I know, I know. Do you have a chance to be proven and guilty? By the way. I, listen, I'm not, I don't agree with her. I'm just, you know, you yeah. know me the way I feel, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, you know, when did this guy go to court? I mean, you know, it's like he's just covered in, in Teflon. Am I the only one that thinks that the statute of limitations should not be as short as it is? Right. Why does it matter? Why does time matter when a crime is committed? I don't get it. All right. I guess I am the only one. <laughs> no, 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 I don't no, have no. an answer for you, really. We didn't go to law school, so we can't give you that. I don't know. But a lot of... In some cases, it doesn't. No, right. Right. Yeah. Uh, a lot of his former victims, though, did speak out after this testimony came out. Model Janice Dickinson said she felt vindicated. Um, and Beverly Johnson, who also had that article in Vanity Fair about her encounter with Cosby, she said, it is unfortunate the amount of proof required to make a woman's voice valid. Amen. Take that, Whoopi. All right, now let's move on to some, I say good news, but it, it kind of starts out bad. Uh, this girl, Naomi Oaks, she's 11 years old, huge Taylor Swift fan, and she was lucky enough to score tickets to Taylor's concert on August 18th. You know, a lot of girls couldn't even get the tickets they sold out so quickly. Naomi was diagnosed with cancer last month, and she has to stay in the hospital for treatment for the next six to nine months. So oh, my gosh. So concert's out of the question. Her family posted a video on YouTube, told her story, and they wanted people to message Taylor with the hashtag Team Naomi. Her uncle also set up a GoFundMe page for her medical expenses. Well, not only did Taylor find out about it, but she donated $50,000 to Naomi. Here's Naomi finding out about Taylor's letter. The beautiful and brave Naomi. I'm sorry you have to miss it, but there will be, there will always be more concerts. Let's focus on getting you feeling better. I'm sending the biggest hugs to you and your family. <laughs> I seriously think I'm gonna pass out right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so sweet. That's what she does, though, Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. I mean, she knows her audience 
is so important to her. It, it should be a lesson to a lot of artists. Oh, yeah. She has a whole social media team, I think, who, you know, their sole job every day is to go th- filter all of the messages that go to Taylor and bring her the very best ones. Then she reads those. She should maybe... Um, donate one of her social media team to Paula Dean because oh. she needs a little help. Uh, we have the picture online at Y98.com. For Transformation Tuesday, someone from her social media team apparently posted this picture that they did for Halloween back in 2011. It's Paula Dean dressed up as Lucille Ball, her son Bobby done up like Desi Arnaz. He's not in blackface, but he's in what they're calling brownface, and then he has his hands underneath his chin and his hands are white so it makes the brown the tan face noticeable and on her um on her social media page it said lucy you got a lot of splaining to do hashtag transformation tuesday this is following her n-word controversy two years ago and that social media manager has since been fired uh, the latest that came out uh, since we started the schmig is that she said she did that makeup with a garlic herb butter and five minutes on broil. <laughs> so, in case you want to do it, she loves the butter. <laughs> Harry Shearer returning to The Simpsons, too. We'll have more details on that in the 840 schmig. And you can find this schmig, including our Phillips and Company Night at the Ballpark t shirt. Ooh, nice. I am modeling online later at y98.com. Trade up.